Hey guys, what's up? This is Karan here back with a new video and you're welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I've installed MIUI 11 20.3.26 MI Novo Bid which is based on MIUI 11 and is based on Android 9 for Redmi Note 8. You got the security patch of 1st of March 2020. Is it different from stock room and why it is different from a stock room? Why I am recommending you to use this room instead of using your instead of using your stock room. Everything in this video I'll try to show you and let's get started now. Okay, so I am using my Redmi Note 8 in which I have installed MIUI 11 20.3.26 MI Novo Room. This is almost same like stock room. It's based on MIUI 11. So MIUI 11 is already available for Redmi Note 8 and you're using from a long time. One of the main thing which I personally liked a lot about this build is the animations, the smoothness. There is not a single lag available. Everything is working. Also, this is bugless because this is based on stock room and you only get some extra features available. I'll try to show you. First of all, let me take a look at the camera. This one is a stock room based, so camera is available with all the working modes like normal 48 megapixel and like this when you click photos, photo mode. Let me just show you. Clicking photos, ultra wide also. This one is here. As you can see, ultra wide is also working perfectly. If we talk about uh, this one is macro, macro is also perfectly working including AI mode. There are extra features available. I'll try to show you all those features too. In SIM cards and mobile networks, WLA and Bluetooth connection sharing, everything in same, no extra things are here. When you go to display, you have the option of use MI LAN Pro font. This feature you don't get in MI UI stock room. Also, this one is new one use MI space as you can see it is in additional settings. So this feature is also available in MI Novo room and all other things like here you have the option of action button mobile data. It means when you click your mobile data, what happens? It will show you mobile network or it will show you network type. This is the thing you can change from here. You can choose the number of columns in the switch grid, colored application icons, battery indicators, notification shade shortcuts, only these kind of things. You can hide notch as you can see, I am already using this feature. I personally like this feature a lot. If we talk about some other features, sound and vibration, notification, everything is same. In home screen, you get the option of app drawer available as you can see if you want to choose app drawer you can choose app drawer 2 if you want to choose as a regular you can choose regular 2 if you want to home screen settings swipe up on the home screen to open search app world and here another new feature number of columns in a folder if you are using a folder and you want these columns you can customize how many columns number how much number of columns you want in a folder three columns or four columns whichever you like you can choose that one these are the features you get here and all other things including face lock everything is perfectly working there are no extra things to show you those were only main one or two things which i just wanted to show you all other things are almost same not any extra changes but one of the main thing is the performance the smoothness this is just awesome and uh, the theme store if i uh, if i want to talk to you the theme center is perfectly working i have just downloaded a theme which is very very cool just apply this theme from here and you will be able to use and it looks very very cool let me show you here it is it looks very very cool the widget looks pretty much impressive the icons look very very cool all the things are working perfectly your dialer pad is also themed this one is a context tab that looks pretty cool all the things i have already shown you no extra things are there only like the performance thing some extra things no ads and no bloatware etc these kind of things you get here just a normal update if you want to try out you can try out and how to install this build what you need is just go to file manager let me just show you which are the main things you need you only need one file this one is mi novo 3832 etc etc dot zip this is the file you need you need custom recovery you need unlocked bootloader let me just show you you have to boot into custom recovery once if you have an option available here then it's good if you don't get any option here that's not the big thing you can manually boot into custom recovery if you want to 
so simply put into custom recovery once wait let me just show you i'm using orange fox custom recovery if you're using any other that's not the big thing you can try any other recovery but i am using orange fox because this is one of the best recovery so simply just go to wipe section dalvik cat system vendor data all these things we have to swipe to wipe and wait for few seconds to properly wipe everything as you can see everything is done now click on mi novo <coughs> and click on swipe to install and this is how you can install and after some time it will properly install you can simply click on reboot system and everything is done if it is not rebooting or if it is showing any error etc you can try to format data and you are good to go so this was how this is how you can install this this was all from today's review this was only the short and simple and brief review of this room because this room does not have any features etc thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye have a nice day